To get the highest grade in your GCSE physics exams, you have to be really good at the mathematical part of the course. This is going to be 30 to 40 percent of the exam, and these are often the easier marks to get provided you're good at the calculations. Now I've got something that you can do over the coming weeks. The first thing is if you go to my website, which is GCSE Physics Online, if you go to the main page and scroll down, you'll see a link there to Isaac Physics. And what I've done is I've created some game boards for you to have a go at. Now these boards have come from this book here. Uh, this book here, um, written by a couple of great people, including the guy who does uh, the kind of the short videos that you might have seen to help you relearn English. Are you ready to relearn English? In these boxes, in the prep room, this is not a charity shop. Um, and basically he's got another channel so you can subscribe to that uh, if you look in the description beneath this video. Um, but basically this has lots and lots and lots of questions, but sometimes that's just too many to do. And sometimes these questions don't tie in exactly with the course that you're doing at GCSE. For example, there are questions to do with um, electrical circuits and you need to know the charge on the electron for the book, but you don't need to know that for your GCSE exam. So what I've done is I've looked through this and I've made certain uh, game boards which have only the questions that you need to answer. And all of them can be found here. Now what you need to do is uh, you can choose your topic. Uh, let's say, for example, we can, we're going to look at springs. And here I've just got three questions from the page about springs that you should be able to answer. Okay, so maybe let's start with question one. It says a spring takes a force of five newtons to extend it by 2.0 centimetres. The first question, part A, is what is the spring constant? Now, of course, if you're doing GCSE science, you should know this by now, especially if you're in year 11. However, Sometimes the questions might seem a little bit difficult or maybe you just need to remind yourself about that. And this is where the hints and underneath are super important. So hint one takes you to a page with extra notes. So here we've got some notes on springs and elastic deformation. And if you click on this, you can see that there's some information um, about uh, the link between the extension, the force applied and the spring constant. Um, but of course, that's something that you should know by now, but if you're not sure, you've always got that. Okay, let's go back to this one here. Hint two, if you're not sure, um, there are often one or two videos um, by this person over here, and uh, basically this has a brief recap of the topic and then an example question. So if there's anything you're not sure about, you can find a video that I've made where I explain the topic and I show you a similar worked example. And of course, hint three, uh, if the other ones don't help. This is often uh, maybe related to that question in particular, and here it just gives you the force and the extension. Okay, now the other thing is just because this is on a website doesn't mean that you shouldn't get a piece of paper, a pen and a calculator and actually go through the normal format of, uh, of how you actually work out your questions. So write down the formula. In this case, you can say that F equals KE. Um, you can then maybe rearrange that to say how the spring constant is equal to the force divided by the extension, which in this case would be five newtons divided by 0 0.020 of a meter, um, which would then give you a value equal to 250. And the great thing about Isaac physics is that you can put in your answer and then it checks it so you know that you're correct. Okay, uh, then we might look at the next question. Um, so again, even though you're putting in your answers here, it's self-marking it and it's telling you if you're correct or not, you still need to make your own notes as you're going through all of these. Okay, for this one, we don't actually need to use the formula. We know that five newtons make it, makes it extend by two centimetres. So if we want to extend it by 10 centimetres, we need to apply a bigger force. The extension, extension is five times as much. So therefore the force is going to be five times as much. So this is going to be equal to oh, uh, 25. Okay, we also need to put in a unit here. So it's going to be newtons because it's a force. And then it says check your answer, which is correct. And then there's this thing here that if you haven't already done so, it's prompting you to log in or sign up to Isaac Physics. Now you don't have to do this to answer the questions, but I think you should because this allows you to record your progress and have a look at all of the questions that you have answered. Uh, and basically it just makes the whole process even easier. 
Now, of course, if you can sign up for Snapchat and TikTok and everything else where you need an account, then actually signing up for Isaac Physics is super, super easy. So if you haven't already done so, sign up to Isaac Physics. It might be coming in useful later on as you're going to A-levels, but this just means you can record your progress and see what you've done. And of course, once you've done that question, you can go and have a look at the next question and so on. So what I've got here is um, a certain amount of work that I think you should look through over the Easter holidays. And I think it's completely achievable to do all of these questions. If you're wanting to get that grade nine, do these questions alongside the past papers and the practice papers you're working through. And that's gonna basically make sure that as you go into any real exams, the mathematical, the calculation questions are gonna seem super, super easy. And that means you're gonna guarantee yourself a good grade, if not one of the best grades, because you've got a greater understanding of all the topics that might come up. So that's something that I think all of you, if you're in year 11, can achieve if you're working hard, if you're dedicated, you're motivated, and you're wanting to go from a grade seven to a grade eight, or a grade eight to a grade nine, or even whatever level you're at, just have a go at some of these questions. And of course, if you're in year 10, have a go at some questions about things you've already learnt. Know that Isaac Physics is there and it could be really, really useful as you go through the rest of your GCSE and A-level journey. And of course, on the website, it's not just physics. They also do maths and they've now got biology and chemistry questions at A-level as well. So there we go. That is some of your Easter additional homework that can really help boost your grade in GCSE physics.